I barely, I barely know her. And it went through her damn phone. It's ugly. She fucking the CEO at the damn jailhouse. Why are you lying? And they come bail her out. Can you stop? She's sending the CEO to hotel. Mr. Hughes, too, yep. And he got a wife, and she probably gonna see this. Yo, Mr. Hughes, yep, back at the jailhouse. In New Orleans. Like, what What type of bitch? Like, what? You fucking with the CO, cuz? You was in jail for 20, 48 hours. What I want to know is, for real... How you gotta build a bitch out and she fucking the CEO? Like, I couldn't give you a get out of jail free card. Why, why are you saying like, you fucked me? Like, why do you have to say that? He didn't fuck you? No. So, how you know what hotel you was staying at? He didn't know what hotel He was waiting outside your hotel. He called you. You said you enjoyed his company. Not in, like, what, in person? Yeah. You said I was just observing you and blushing. Where the fuck was this happening at? Babe, why are you like doing this? Cause they think they think you just the, the real solid bitch. They don't know you really a whore, just I'm not a, whore. a whore with with tattoos. I'm not a like what type of shit is that? I'm not a whore. It's crazy. <sighs> and then we got this nigga named Badass. Pick the bitch up. From her, from her little apartment, wherever. Picked her up. Dropped her off. They did Lord knows what. I don't fucking know. Why you like that? <sighs> Who else we got? We got Terry sending him his whole fucking dick. Whole video, this I nigga's dick. Then we got Jarvis. While she was out, um... On tour with baddies, Jarvis talking about some stay two more days. She talking about, oh, I'm on tour. I can't. I got to go. I'm on tour. He talking about, let me be your bodyguard. Probably some buff nigga that she like. Bitch. I'm only airing her ass out because y'all think she a solid bitch. She ain't shit. See, look, y'all know I'm a whore. So that's the difference. You feel me? So it's like, she know I'm a whore. Y'all know I'm a whore. So it's like, you feel me? You know what you get. It's different when you think somebody's not a whore. Or like, like that's like somebody playing like that, the toughest, most gangsterous dude in the world. And then you find out that they're really a bitch on the inside. You feel me? It's more disappointing than if you just already know they're a bitch or if you already just know they're tough. That's why I'm doing her like this, because she, she really had a nigga fooled. She's a good actor. That's what she was, girl. I'm going to put you in a movie. Blueface exposes Krishan Rock. Now, we all saw the video of Blueface and Krishan Rock getting into that physical altercation in on on the Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood. Now, first thing I said to myself, what did this bitch do? What did she do to cause this altercation? Lo and behold, after the fight, Blueface makes a video post. And he makes a video post exposing the fact that he went through Krishan Rock's phone I, I, I want to make that clear he went through her phone I'm going to get back to this and guess what he found out she was talking and dealing with three to four different niggas behind his back let me get back to this phone thing now because I know in this red pill community some dating coaches, they always tell you, don't no, never go through a girl's phone. It's going to make you look insecure. Never go through a phone. It's going to make you look that you're not a confident man. You're not confident in yourself. Bullshit. 
If you dealing with a girl, if you dealing with a girl, and she claims she's loyal to you, she claims she's down for you. Go through her phone. I remember at a job I used to have a few years ago, uh, when we did an application and during the interview, they will during orientation they will let you know that we do random drug tests. We do random drug tests. We we not gonna let you know. We gonna do it. It's gonna be random. And what does it? And, and this is called this deters people from doing drugs, basically. So you gotta let your bitch know. Oh oh, when you dealing with me, I do random phone checks to make sure you loyal to me. Unless can we please now that this has happened? Can we please stop letting stop thinking that? A tattoo is the symbolization for loyalty. If I'm not mistaken, I think Chris Sean Rock, she got a whole blue face tattoo on, on her neck or a face somewhere. You thought the bitch was loyal. A tattoo don't mean shit. All a tattoo means that the bitch likes body art. That's all it means. But what else does this mean? See, what you saw with this fight, on Hollywood Boulevard with Blueface and Krishan, this is the typical toxic relationship. And I'm so glad they recorded this. I'm so glad because it's you bitches that's always in this, in this quote-unquote toxic domestic violence relationship. You always want to play the victim. Had it not been for this video, these two videos with the fight and then after the fight, Krishan Rock would be acting like a damn victim. Oh, he abused me. He made me fight other girls. It was so horrible. But she leaves out how she was um, smashing the CEO at the jail, right? She leaves out how she was talking to the dude who wanted to smash her, but then act like he wanted to be his her bodyguard, right? She would have left out the part how she was entertaining dudes, sending her um 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 D pics, right? She would have left that out. This is why. When you deal with a woman, record shit, expose their ass, so that they won't be, so that they won't play the victim. This is very important. Look what Blueface said. Damn, yo, I thought she was loyal. She ain't nothing but a whore. Yes, yeah, she's nothing but a whore. All these women are. They all whores. You know the other messed up part about it? She messed up his money. This boy had an up and coming fight with a YouTuber for like a million dollars. She done messed up the bag for the nigga. All because he caught her cheating. Let me close out with this. All you dudes out here that's dealing with females, you talking about you don't want to check her phone because you don't want to look insecure, you don't want to make her feel uncomfortable, be as bullshit. Because let me tell you this, any woman that I've dealt with that was really down for me, they had no problem with me checking their phone. No problem. Because think about this, the woman who is really down for you, she wants to prove that she's a down ass bitch. So if checking her phone will prove to you and make you feel comfortable to let you know that she's a down ass bitch, she's going to give you her phone with no resistance. She's going to say, check my phone anytime. Just like the dude, just like the workers at these companies. They don't care about random drug tests. Why? Because some of them, they don't even do drugs. They don't mind. Hey, are we going to do a random drug test? Okay, that's cool. I don't do drugs anyway. Go ahead, check whenever you feel like it. But the person who does do drugs, they're like, damn, now I gotta be more strategic. Now I gotta clean my system, now I gotta detox. Same thing with women, yo. When women wanna get over on you, cheat on you, deceive you, they're gonna have a problem with you checking their phone. They're gonna give you resistance. And see, Krayshawn, she got this innocent looking face she like like she has an innocent looking face to the point where she knows how to play the victim at the right time. She knows how to be the ratchet bitch and she knows how to be the victim. These bitches are dangerous. Cuz these are the bitches that get niggas locked up. 
It's bitches like her that get niggas locked up. That altercation you saw, that could have easily got blue face locked up. Cops come on the scene. Oh, she crying. She got a mark on her face. They locking his ass up. And thank God it wasn't no Captain Save Old Simps out there. Thank God, yo. The dude that was recording the whole fight, he was on blue face side. Saying, yo, stop hitting him. Stop hitting him. Thank God it wasn't no simps out there talking about why you hitting that girl or trying to jump in the fight and fight blue face. So in closing, I don't care what none of these dating coaches tell you. You always check your girl's phone. If she's your girl, you have a right to check her phone. That is your that is your responsibility to make sure this bitch ain't cheating on you. It's your responsibility to make sure that she's being loyal. And when she stops being loyal, when, 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 she, when, when she's acting stupid, now you check her phone, you find something, you dismiss her ass, you let her go. Swag Boy 360, I'm out.